Hello everyone and welcome to Edusearch Clinics and today we are going to discuss the fourth session on medical statistics made easy series. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai. Thank you for appreciating this series. I know that a lot of uh, medical people struggle with statistics and here we are going to try and make it interesting and easy, right? So we have seen in previous sessions and I had told that we are going to discuss the types of data in a way that the measurement scales are incorporated in understanding types of data. We have already seen these four terms that is nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. So let us see how these terms are used in medical statistics. So we already discussed this slide. This is just a quick recap for those who missed the previous session. We have seen the types of variables. Again, qualitative or categorical variables and quantitative where you have discrete random and continuous random variable. We also saw the importance of understanding this topic at a lot of depth because designing is the key to your outcomes and analysis. And same variables can be designed in multiple ways. So this is a very important point to understand. Now we come to today's topic. First, we understand why the measurement scales are important. So understand that the inferential statistics heavily depends on how we use the descriptive statistics. OK, now this is not a difficult line for anyone to understand because in previous session, we have already understood how statistician uses these kind of lines like defining variable data and observation, collecting data and organizing data is basically descriptive statistics and analyzing data is inferential statistics. Like So analyzing depends on type of data and type of measurement scales. And we have already seen that same variable can have different observations and can lead to different data and so definitely will result in different analysis, right? So when we look at measurement scales, it is surprising or not surprising that the measurement scale types are nearly similar to the types of data, right? So on the right hand side in the pink box are measurement scales from the simplest measurement scale known as nominal to the most sophisticated one, which is the ratio scale. And to the left of your screen, you have data types, which is qualitative or categorical, in which you have nominal and ordinal again, and quantitative or numerical data where you have discrete or continuous data, where again you use interval or ratio types, right? So let us understand these terms in detail. So now we look at the four scales in a lot of depth. This is one of the most important slides in this lecture. So pay a bit of attention and I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. So when we are looking at nominal scale and remember that this is a qualitative scale because it is nominal data, which is a qualitative data. So this is the lowest measurement scale where again, what you are going to do, you are going to divide your data into categories and you are going to have categories which are mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. So this is very similar to what we saw as qualitative or categorical variables, right? So nominal measurement scale is used for categorical qualitative data, okay? And the nominal scale can be very basic that is it is without any order or it can have some form of order or it can be a yes no male female type of scale which is also known as dichotomous scale right so nominal scale is basically where you just have categories okay male female yes no types of categories where there is not much of an order also and this is the lowest measurement scale, right? Used for qualitative or categorical variables. Now coming to ordinal scale. What ordinal scale means that there is an order, okay? Not happy, somewhat happy, happy, very happy, extremely happy, right? There is an order of happiness in this scale. And this is a very simple example of ordinal scale, okay? So there is an ordered data or there is a ranked data. What does that mean? 
जूनियर के जी सीनियर के जी हायर सेकेंडरी प्रोफेशनल राइट दिस विल बी ऑर्डिनल डेटा रैंक्ड डेटा ओके सो अगेन ऑर्डिनल डेटा नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर इज नो जीरो पॉइंट इन इज दिस ओके देर इज नो जीरो फॉर अ पर्सन इन हैप्पीनेस स्केल हु इज टोटली अनहैप्पी देर इज अ कैटेगरी बट देर इज नो जीरो पॉइंट ऑल्सो there is no unit distance what that means is that there is no classical way of understanding when a person goes from somewhat happy to very happy right what that means is that unlike numbers this is qualitative data okay there are categories which have an order or a ranked pattern but there is no well defined way of knowing when a person will shift from one category to another category okay another example suppose you are dividing numbers 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 you know that from 10 to 20 there are 10 possible options from 20 to 30 there are 10 possible options whereas when you have a happiness scale which is somewhat happy and very happy or very happy and extremely happy you don't know when the gap will fill okay 10 to 20 20 to 30 you know when the gap will fill but somewhat happy to very happy you don't know when that transition will happen that is what is the meaning of no unit distance right so ordinal data is also qualitative or categorical data but in order or ranked fashion like i said the distance between two categories cannot be inferred from the categories right so there is no unit distance and there is no zero point example is patient satisfaction survey where you have categories like unsatisfied somewhat satisfied satisfied very satisfied extremely satisfied right but you don't know when the patient will shift from one category to another now coming to quantitative scales which are interval and ratio scale interval scale again has order or rank but the interval is known okay the distance between two measurements is known and the example here is 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 right you have an arbitrary zero point what that means is that we have decided a zero point and the classical example of interval scale is temperature measurement okay the zero changes between fahrenheit and celsius and still both are zeros so there is an arbitrary zero there is no true zero here but the distance between measurements is known so this is a quantitative scale okay or a numerical scale where there is an arbitrary zero point but there is a zero point okay and the unit distance is known that is how it is different from ordinary variable now interval scale is very commonly used because it helps in giving a numerical assessment of arbitrary variables what that means is that again like variables you can convert scales from ordinal to interval how the pain score okay the likert scale these are some of the scales which have arbitrary variables okay very painful to not painful but they have given them numbers which give them a very fixed way of assessment okay and a distance between measurement which is well known okay so interval scale is very commonly used in medical field basic arithmetic is possible in interval scale like i said the most common example is temperature recordings now coming to the ratio scale which is the most sophisticated scale or the highest measurement scale why because it has a true zero ratio scale also allows unit conversion due to true zero what that means is that you can convert height from centimeter to meter to feet to inches right so unit conversions are possible it has a true zero and it has a fixed distance between measurements so all complicated arithmetic is possible in data which is collected in ratio scale right examples are height and weight so this is one of the most important slides that you need to understand when it comes to types of data or types of measurement scale because basically data is going to be based on some measurement scale okay so nominal ordinal interval and ratio nominal and ordinal are qualitative or categorical data 
interval and ratio are numerical or quantitative data. Okay. So to summarize, what we have seen so far in the last four sessions, we have seen that for any person to identify a problem and to solve a problem, it is very important to define the variable, the type of variable, the type of measurement scale and the type of data, right? Which can be nominal, audible, interval and ratio. To simplify your measurement scales, remember that nominal is named or classified data. To ordinal, which is an order or rank in data, but the distance between the categories is not fixed. To an interval scale where the unit distance between the measurements is fixed. To a ratio scale where you have a true zero along with all the above factors, right? So this is very simple way to understand the measurement scales. So we have seen D of the DECOVA framework in a lot of detail. And in upcoming session, now we are not going to discuss D and we are going to go into collecting data. We have seen types of data. We have seen sources of data. We have seen primary and secondary data, structure and unstructured data. But now we are going to go into actual process of how to collect data. Okay, what is a sample? What is sampling? What are different methods of sampling? And how you decide what data to collect. Thank you.